Okay guys, this is my wing of my Bixler 3. Um, this is the aluminum insert that goes into it. And I just wanted to show you something that you want to make sure you pay attention to is that this uh, tube that the um, spar goes into is not very well secured. So what I'm going to do right now is go ahead and uh, cut this out. I have it taped over. And the good thing I did because if I didn't, it probably would have let go. Okay, so that is pretty bad. So if I had not seen this, it would have definitely broken. Uh, broken my wing probably and probably broken this uh, center section right here. So what I'm gonna do, uh, I can't, uh, I'll decide in just a second. I, I can either take a five minute epoxy and epoxy that in, or I can just take hot glue and put it in there. I have a feeling that I'm gonna go ahead and do the uh, five minute epoxy here. When I use my five minute epoxy, what I do is I take a, a rubber dappen dish and I, um, I take a little bit of, a tiny, tiny uh, bit of Vaseline and I rub it in the inside. That's just, just the way it, so it doesn't stick inside the uh, inside there. I also take a nice uh, spatula. Uh, what I'm gonna do is make up uh, equal halves of both, lay it in here, and then I'll put a piece of tape over the top to help uh, seal everything in. I might wanna overfill it just a little bit. squish out quite a bit today. All right, let's see if that'll do it. If not, I can always add more, so. Mix it all together here. Okay. There we go. All right, so. Just take a bit of it like this, and we move this over here. And this is five minute epoxy. I think this one's called Bob's, I believe it's called. Take all of it out here. Basically, I'm gonna make sure that all of this epoxy gets right down into the cracks down in here, and I'm gonna put some over, squish it over to the other side. Don't worry if it's uneven because I'm gonna be putting that tape over the top. That'll help it. Um, that'll help uh, smooth everything out. I should probably actually put some more in there. Put it right up against the plastic. There we go. Yep, I'm just making sure that it goes all the way in the seams and the side. It'll hold this carbon rod right in place. There we go. All right, so that looks pretty good. I want to make sure it's much thicker towards the end here. Okay, so I'm going to take a little uh, a bit of tape here. I'm going to take a bit of tape here, just a little bit of um, masking tape or um, the uh, packing tape. Just put it over the top here, and I'll probably take this off after I'm done and put another piece on a smaller piece. So squish it down in there, make it look real nice so it doesn't look all bumpy and everything. So when that's all cured, I'll come back and we'll do the other side. Um, but obviously, I'm not going to show you how to do the other side because it's exactly like this side. Okay, guys, I've got both sides of my um, spar glued in here. And um, it's extremely rigid, which is nice. I left it about 20 minutes, even though it's a five minute epoxy. But if I flex these wings now, there's no deflection through this wing spar, which is really nice. Um, just another quick tip I wanna give you guys uh, is this, um, the wing catch right here. You have to really make sure that that wing catch is um, actually caught. Because if you just push the two wings together, halves together, and this little thing, this little button isn't pushed down, it actually doesn't catch the wings and you can actually separate the wings just by pulling on them. So even though these, uh, these, the wing mounts here are gonna be holding everything together, you still wanna check this, make sure that it clasps down. There's a little tooth in there that has to go down and grab basically. So hopefully this tip helps you guys out. Uh, make sure you glue your wing spars in, uh, otherwise it can be a potential disaster. So I will talk to you guys later, thanks.